All right, Model Rocks 321 here back with another video, guys. So in today's launch, on this first launch, um, something happened that I did not want to happen. A plane was kind of near us. It wasn't in the path, but it was near us. Normally, I always check the sky before we launch. This time, I saw a plane way in the distance heading the opposite direction. By the time it was time to launch, this plane had turned around and my friend was having trouble with the controller and I was trying to help him and man the camera and I did not hear the plane. So you will see in this video, the plane is in our frame, which is something I do not recommend. Always check the range, always check the sky um, before launching. So we'll take a look at this right now. I had to cut part of it out because of language, but you'll see the plane. It's like, it's away from us, but still it's just too close for comfort. Um, if you see any of my other videos, you know, I've mentioned before, um, I always want planes, you know, far away, not even pointing in our direction when I fly. So take a look at the video. Be safe. Model Rocks 321. All right. So here we are about to launch. Friends having trouble with the controller. Yep. And there it went. So the rocket launched um, and right coming up, you'll see a plane right there. But we're far to the right. But it's like I said, it's just too close for comfort. Um, He's long gone. The rocket ejection already happened. You'll probably see, yeah, you can probably see it like in the top, top of the frame, maybe center of the frame. Yeah, rocket's coming down. It's coming down. Like I said, it was a good flight, but this is something I don't recommend. Uh, I didn't like that this took place. So we want to keep everybody safe, pilots included. Shout out to the pilots. You know, just got to um, pay closer attention. Just got distracted trying to help him. And then he went and launched. I was filming and, um, you know, yeah, but that one's on me, so we'll keep an eye on that for upcoming launches. So here I'm just going to recover it, and um, everything was good after that. It's Model Rocks 321. And I lost the altimeter on this flight, so keep watching. We'll do something different. We'll do something different. Should be good, though. Model Rocks 321. So here we go. Federation Star Probe, everything looks intact. If the line, yeah, that little piece it snaps off. That's just not not working out. So it didn't snap from there. It snapped from up top this time. But everything's good though. Landed on this little tail to give you that little probe piece on the end. So we are good to go. Let's get another one. All right, guys. Next up, we got the SR seventy one Blackbird about to go on a C six five. The last launch was kind of cool. My altimeter snapped off and got lost. I'm gonna have to get a replacement for that. Well, that's what happens sometimes. So the altimeter's gone. It's way out there somewhere. I'll get a new one. So that's that. But right now we're gonna get this SR-71 Blackbird going up. All right, so here we have the SR-71 Blackbird. About to go on a C-65. And here we go. Going in five, four, three, two, one arched over us and five second delay just happened parachute out and we got a good launch drifting down drifting down coming back this way good flight good flight of the sr-71 blackbird about to touch down right in front of me there we have it SR-71 Blackbird. I had another engine for that. I had one of the Q-Jet motors, but deep down inside the engine is the engine hook, the other end of it. And the Q-Jet motor has that nozzle where you get your ejection charge and it will not go past that. So I couldn't, um, couldn't make that happen. So there we go. Touchdown of the SR-71 Blackbird. My lost altimeter is out there somewhere. And I'll show you guys later on where it broke off and it's gone. I'll get a replacement. All right, cool, perfect. SR-71 Blackbird. All right, guys, we're going to get a second flight of the Federation Star Probe on a D-16 4FJ. Should go pretty high. We're going to check that out right now. Let's get it going. Smile Rocks 321. Be sure to use the discount code, which is on the screen right now. Let's go on and get this flight going. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, turn the power off. All right, here we go. Going in five, four, three, two, one. There it go whistling way up there. I still see it. I heard it. 
Don't see it yet. Keep an eye up. I kind of see the area where it should be. It went up there pretty good. Gotta keep looking, keep looking. Ooh, I don't see him yet. Not yet. Should be heading down. That was a high fly. I knew it was gonna be high. <laughs> you see it? Alright. Coming down low? Am I too? Oh, it's already down. <laughs> wow, I was still looking up. It's already down. Alright, cool. Can you stop that cell phone for me? All right, well, guys, I kind of missed it the whole time, but it's down, it's hanging in a bush. That's why you should have a spotter. I got my friend Marlo with me. He caught it, spotted it. Wow, it came down a lot faster than I thought. I don't see the parachute. It hauled off the pad. That was a pretty nice launch, though. Let's see what we got here. Parachute might be gone, but it got caught up in the bush, so that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. All right. Model Rocks 321 guys, subscribe, hit that like button, hit that thumb up. What we got going on? Did the parachute, uh, what we got? Parachute tangled? Parachute never unrolled? What's going on here? I gotta see this. I gotta see this. All right guys, so here we have something unique. Wow, the rocket gods, the rocket gods. So the rocket did not, <laughs> parachute <laughs> so no wonder I didn't spot a parachute because the parachute never it never happened check that out now this is it's one for the ages right here so the parachute never fully unrolled as you can see here but the parachute or the rocket never hit the ground I'll take this all day long I appreciate this right here thanks little tree appreciate you model rocks three two one this is what it's all about right here, folks. Didn't crash. <laughs> wow. Federation Star Probe. Thank you, little tree. That's all right right there. I'll take that. I can live with that. All right, guys. So that's the end of launching for today. Kind of bummed that I lost my Jolly Logic 2. I'm just going to spend some time walking around trying to find it out here. Needle in the haystack type deal. It may be gone. I mean, I'll be extremely lucky to find it. I've lost a nose cone out here and I've lost a camera, the SD's Astro Cam. I lost that out here. So, but I have to do it. I have to take a look before I go. Man, I don't know. My Rocks 321. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, like the channel, all that. Share it with a friend too. My Rocks 321. I'm just going to take some time and look around. Guys, you will not believe this. Extremely lucky. I found the Jolly Logic. Here it is. Wow. It's off. It hit the ground. It was attached. Let me sit my phone down. It was attached to the rocket to my um, Federation Star Probe. And I found out to see where it hit right there. But we are good. Let's see if it still come, comes on. Powered on. It hit the ground. Still good. Extremely lucky. The reading data, y'all, 487 feet. <laughs> Oh, 112 miles per hour. I am super excited to have this back, man. I found, I gotta call my friend. He went on and left. I told him I'm gonna take a look before, um, I'm gonna take a look around. Wow, can I cannot believe it? Cannot believe it, found my Jolly Logic. Man, great day. Oh man, this is a good day. Good day. Cause I was just about to leave, that's the thing. I was, I was heading out. I was walking, heading back to the, to the vehicle and I was getting out of here but extremely lucky to find this out here like <laughs> this don't happen I think I said I've lost other stuff but I found it model rocks 321 hit that subscribe button Wow found it good deal I'll take it man I'll take it perfect day even though I had some mishaps with some flights perfect day perfect day model rocks 321 Wow, what a day of flights. Um, flew three, had um, the Black Brent X with me, didn't get a chance to put it up because there was low looking clouds. I think it would have went in there. Anyway, we flew Federation Star Probe twice, SR-71 Blackbird once. First flight, you all saw what happened. Um, the one thing that happened was the altimeter got snapped off at this point right here. These older rockets, I'm gonna stop using that little arm piece 
that plastic gets degraded over time and it snapped from there. I'm not sure how, but I guess coming out and getting ejected, just broke it loose. But I managed to find the altimeter. Where is it at right now? Put it somewhere. Just wanted to. So yeah, here's the altimeter. I was so lucky, so lucky to find this guy. Just that they can see it has a little mark there where it kind of, where it hit the ground. Oops, out of frame. Where it hit the ground, but I was so lucky to find this again. And the other thing, um, that airplane situation, like I said, guys, safety, safety first. I think you all do. If you're new to the hobby, always check the sky. Make sure no planes are in your area. I normally check the plane. I saw it heading way over there, like, but it turned around by time. It was time for us to launch. And my friend was having trouble with the command launch control. You got to press. And then you hold both buttons down at the same time. He told me he was like just pressing it. No, you got to press and hold so the juice can go. Um, with him doing that, and I'm looking at the camera and trying to help him. I didn't even hear the plane turn around and get that close. You couldn't hear it. I was focusing on something else. And um, the plane the plane was there and the rocket was, you know, it was away from it. But still, it was, like I said, too close for me, too close for comfort. I don't like that kind of stuff. I just want them far away. And I want to be over here and want them over there. So everything stays safe, stays, stays safe and you don't have any worries. But other than that, um, safety deal, you know, I take responsibility for it. Rain's clear, sky's clear always. Check around you, check up there especially. And then go on and do your, um, and then go on and have your safe flights. But the rocket did fly well. It flew on a C-65, um, recovered on the ground. Everything was cool. The little probe on the end. This is what protects the end from getting damaged. It, Kind of just hits on that and it lays itself down. I had this rocket rigged for a horizontal recovery so it comes down sideways, but this is just not working. I went on and cut it off. I'm gonna just continue to leave it as standard. Um, it works that way. Great flyer. So we flew that one and then I got the SR 71 Blackbird up on a C65. Really nice flight. Um, took off, arched over us really high, and I can see it kind of turning in the air. Um, I have some more footage of it on my phone where it just took off with like a nice turn, nice roll. Then it ejected and landed on the ground. I did see it hit me a nice little a little ding right there. And a little, I thought I had a, is it under here? Oh, I thought I had some more of those, more piece of damage. Was it back here? Maybe not. I don't know why I thought, maybe that was it. I thought it had a, oh, actually a little, just a little tear right here. Small, yeah, small tears like right there. But y'all get some CA underneath here and um, get that all patched up. But other than that, perfect, perfect flight of the SR-71 Blackbird. Um, Went great, went great really fast. Nice rocket on the C65 engine. I wanted to fly this on a D on one of the Q-Jet motors and get that black smoke effect. But here's the issue with that. So these motors have this little piece right here where the ejection is hidden. And when you put this engine in there, it barely, it goes in, but it stops right here. It don't go past the engine hook. I think the engine hook is too long and it's hitting that piece. Now, it will probably still fly like this. You could tape it in, just go in and put tape around the hook and tape it to the motor. But the other issue I ran into was the launch lug. I can't get past the launch lug now. So I had this piece of rod here to show you. I couldn't get couldn't get in here. See, if you see that, I can't get in there now. But I may go on and move, uh, put it, add another lug and put it just to the left just to get past that. And then um, see if I can get this um, get this worked out. But I could not get this an engine to go in there, man. It wouldn't keep hitting the ejection charge piece. So that was that. This one flew. It flew really great. Nice flight. SR seventy one Blackbird always always flies good for me. Um, a lot of success with these. Then we came back to the. It was this one D sixteen four FJ. <clears throat> that second flight. <clears throat> excuse me. Went really high. Um, nice. It was a nice flight. It actually whistled. You could hear it whistling in the video. And then it, um, I didn't, I heard the ejection. I had my eye on it. I would have seen the parachute. I just couldn't see this white rocket. Next thing you know, it was, I'm still filming, looking up. My friend spotted it probably things like 20 feet from the ground when it went on and hung itself up in that little tree, which it would have been definitely been some damage had it hit the ground. But that little tree saved the day, which I call, you know, the rocket god smiling on me again. But that was really good, really good flight that it came down and landed like that. And one more thing, back to these older 80s kits, if you get one and you fly them, just be cautious of these, the plastic, that little arm hook. I went on and did, this is something I always do. I put a hole here. I use something more beefier than that little stem. Even on this fire arrow in my last launch, it snapped right here. 
it snapped right there and it, the cone came off. It just ripped it loose. This came down, I found it. Then I did find a cone eventually, so I got lucky to find that. Same way I got lucky to find this altimeter, man. It's just, wow. I did not, I was just gonna do a little walk around. I was heading out. I was heading out, I was done. I, like I walked around probably 20 minutes or so. I was like, oh man, okay, this is, this is it. I'm not gonna find it out here. But as I was heading out, I was still looking on the ground and there it was, found it. So I appreciate that. That was a good deal. Good deal, good day. Stay safe, guys. Model Rock 321. Use discount code. Get yourself something from Estes. I know they're running the uh, first 100 sales of the Antar. You get the keychain um, and other stuff. Use the discount code. I, I don't know. Get whatever you need. Engines, wadding, parts, accessories, starter sets, scale models, sport models, anything. Get somebody a gift. Get yourself a gift. All right, guys. That's it for today. It's Model Rocks 321. Hope you enjoyed the video. Share the video with somebody. Feel free to share it through your social media. Share it on your Facebook. And I don't mind that. So I'm out of here. It's Model Rocks 321. Be sure to visit the Model Rockers 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise.